welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the Obsidian Slash command plugin. Because it's super cool, uh, it can help streamline, saves you, I guess, at least one keyboard stroke every time you're going to use it. That's just neat. And if you like this video, the way best way to support it is to go below. You can go to my Obsidian course on Skillshare. But the basics of Obsidian so you can get a handle on it. That's it. Buckle up. Let's look at the Slash command plugin. So like most plugins, first thing we need to do is go to our settings. It's a core plugin. And then we can go to search plugins, start typing slash and enable it. Uh, so it's already enabled on mine. It is not currently available on mobile as of, what is it today? November 5th, not available on mobile, uh, but it's coming. So yeah, so I'm showing it to you on desktop, even though I use Obsidian most on mobile. And it really, all it is, this will be a real quick video is, uh, you type slash and then you type whatever you want. Split. Done. Now I do it. I could type slash and oh, let's go to my book that I'm reading right now, which is, um, oh, let's pretend, pretend it's time off. Now I'd actually finish that so I could even go in here and I can type um, log book. See a book logged up. So it's quick ad. That video is coming as well, or has already gone. I'm not sure the order of my videos. So I'm recording that one today at least. That's really all it does. The slash command gives you access to everything that's under command P. So it saves you from typing command P, uh, getting a modal interface up. And as you saw, like it let me log the book and then stay right inside the note I was already working at, didn't switch me around, didn't do anything like that. So it's a real simple plugin. That just makes it easy to enter commands. It makes it faster um, by saving you a um, keystroke. That's it. Any keystroke saved is just faster. So that's good. I like it. I've been using it. I can't wait for it to come on the mobile devices because I use mobile mostly, as I said. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you love that, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. And as I always say, turn off your notifications anyways, because you should be reading books or hanging out with your kids, something like that. Um, other ways to support the channel is to head over to Skillshare, take my courses. You can find one uh, on Obsidian, um, or if you just go to curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare, that will take you to Skillshare. I get some affiliate fee. And right now I'm actually taking a bunch of courses on drawing with my iPad hand lettering just to improve my YouTube thumbnail game. And because, you know, at night I don't always want to be doing quote unquote work stuff, so I'll do art instead for fun. That's it. Have a good day.